what is up guys so this is probably going to be the last video of this series where we're going to deploy our final application all right so we have completed building our application so now what we're going to do is deploy it live on the server so for that i'm going to use a service called heroku heroku is basically a cloud application platform and it allows us to deploy and run our application all right so basically you can run your application on their server and the reason why i'm using this over other services is because it has a free version which i can use and it is much easier and it's much simpler to use heroku all right so if, if you have any personal projects and stuff i always prefer you to use heroku so the first thing you want to do here is kind of sign up for Heroku if you haven't signed up all right you can actually create a free account now I already have an account so I'm gonna log into my account and if you have already made an account you can log into yours so yeah after you have signed up to your account or log into your account you're actually gonna come to this page right here or your dashboard all right I guess the free version of Heroku only allows you to deploy five projects at max right and if you're if you're registered i think uh, they allow you up to 100 projects but i don't know i have to look that since we are just going to deploy our application it's fine with us all right so yeah i already have one project that i've deployed a long time before and it's right here but for now you don't need to focus much here because we're not going to do anything right here uh, if you have logged in or signed up then yeah that's probably it and you don't have to do much here so now after signing up to Heroku what we're gonna do is go back to our project which is right here now we're gonna start to deploy our application onto Heroku all right now what I'm gonna do here with our application with our code is change one thing all right and that's gonna be the port right here so right now the port is actually set to 3000 and it kind of works all right but when you actually deploy this application to heroku and if your port is set to 3000 then your application is going to crash that is because heroku dynamically gives you a port number all right and if your port is set to 3000 then it's not going to work so what we're going to do here is instead of this 3000 we're going to write process dot env which stands for environment dot port all right so this is actually an environment variable and if heroku does not send you anything we're gonna set this to 3000 all right what this statement process dot env port does is that as i said earlier when you set your port to process dot env dot port what we are doing is we're just saying that you know whatever port number Heroku sends us we're gonna listen to that port number all right and if Heroku doesn't send a port number we're gonna listen to 3000 so this line of code right here is very important otherwise your application is not gonna work or it's gonna crash and the second thing what we need to do is create a file and the name of the file is gonna be dot git ignore all right what this file does is that whatever we add here it's going to ignore those files while committing to the git repository all right and we're actually going to use git repository because heroku depends on git in order to transfer your files from your personal computer or your laptop to the heroku server okay so here what we're going to ignore is the node modules file folder right here okay so let's just say slash node underscore modules basically node module is just all your dependency out here all right and the reason why we ignore this is because when you deploy this application over to heroku all the dependencies that you have enlisted out here and package.json and package.log.json heroku is gonna install those all right we don't have to send the node modules folder so that's why we are ignoring it after you've done that like we're actually good to go and let's start by initializing our git repository so git init this will actually create our git repository 
hit enter and the next thing we're going to do is git add dot all right and what this statement does is that it kind of records all the changes that has been taken place in your files all right if you have changed any file that git or git add dot kind of keep tracks of whatever changes that you have made in your files all right and after that what you're going to do is set git commit dash m and then we're going to say initial commit All right, so this statement, what it does is we're just committing our files into the Git repository. And this is basically the message, commit message. So after you hit enter, it's gonna take a while. All right, now that's done. So now what we're gonna do is actually log in to our Heroku account through our terminal, all right? So before that, what you need to do is you need to install Heroku in your system, all right? So this is the basically the code for installing Heroku, all right? You just have to say npm install dash g, g stands for global, Heroku, all right? And if, and if you hit enter, Heroku is going to be installed in your system. And then after it's installed, what you wanna do is say Heroku, login all right so basically we are logging our account now if you haven't logged in then it's gonna actually ask your email and password but a few minutes ago we did log in right so it's saying press any key to open up the browser to log in or exit so we're just gonna hit enter and there you go it says right here to log in so just click on this button and there you go you're now logged in notice that it didn't ask me for my email or password and that is because i've already logged into my account all right if you have not logged into my to your account then it's gonna ask you for the email and password so after you logged in and after you go to a terminal yeah it's saying right here as logged in as and it's showing my email all right okay so after you've logged in the next thing you want to do is we need to create our Heroku application, all right? And what I mean by Heroku application is this right here, all right? We need to create our Heroku application and then transfer our application into the Heroku application, all right? Sounds a bit complicated, but it's really simple. So all you have to do is say Heroku create, all right? And Heroku actually sets the name of the application randomly all right but you can change the name later on through your dashboard <coughs> all right so the heroku application has been made so if you go right here into your dashboard if you refresh the page there you can see our new application all right right now it has nothing so now we're going to transfer our git repository to that application all right so for that all you have to do is say git push Heroku master all right and this transfers our git repository to the Heroku application and if you hit enter it's probably going to take a while but the deployment will be completed all right so yeah this is it guys we have actually deployed our application into the Heroku server all right so this right here this is basically the link to our application all right if you if you're in the visual studio code if you press control and then click this link and say open it's gonna take you to our site and there you go guys we have actually deployed our application into the Heroku server and this is actually live so yeah basically this is how you deploy an, an express application on Heroku so now while deploying if you face any error all right you can actually go what you want to do is come back to your terminal and then type Heroku logs dash dash tail and then dash dash app and then just type your app name all right and if you hit enter all the logs will be shown and there you can actually find the reason of your error if there is any error all right you can actually google that out 
or if you find any error you can just paste down in the comment section below and if possible i'll try to help you out and also before deploying your application do check that your application is connected to the mongo mongodb atlas before deploying to your application all right all right so i guess that's it guys for this video and this is basically how you deploy your application if you faced any problems just comment down in the comment section below and i hope you enjoyed this entire series don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video or in the next course